it actually was built out of tragedy. Here in Cincinnati in 2001, a police officer shot and killed an unarmed black man, Timothy Thomas, back in 2001. I had actually just moved here after that when there were riots that ensued and there was a response by the community that I think could be viewed as more programmatic in nature. There were a group of community leaders about four years after the tragedy that they kind of recognized that while the programs that had emerged were serving maybe three, four hundred people, nothing fundamentally had changed. Nothing systemically had changed. And that there was a need for us to look at how the community and all of its partners were working together in new and different ways to, to actually change. And I think the core shared belief was that they knew something different had to be done and the status quo just wasn't going to be good enough. It was really in the community's best interest to collaborate and to come across sector. We needed the business community, the justice community, the philanthropic community to come together in response to what had happened and, and the murder of Timothy Thomas. And I think about, I, I think we don't often reflect on sort of the impact that that had in the community. And we knew at the core, the system needed to transform. And we thought that we could do that with systems leaders. And I think if the community leaders who, who really responded in the moment of Timothy Thomas's killing back in 2001 would have had an opportunity to reflect, I know that there was more that we could have done at the time to really engage residents and those most impacted by the system. And I think if there's something we've learned over the last 20 years and certainly over the last 10 years of doing this work in this way is that community residents and those most impacted by the systems and, and the challenges that we face are the best qualified to be able to identify solutions and really change, work with systems leaders to change and transform systems. 